a lot when it comes to virtual learning. And recently, a Florida elementary school teacher named Edith Pride went viral after she called out parents over some questionable behaviors she's noticed lately. Take a look. Parents, please make sure that you have the own proper clothing when you're walking in front or behind the child's computer. Because we done seen them in their drawers, the bra, and everything else. Parents, when you're helping your children at the computer, please uh, do not appear with big joints in your hands and cigarettes. The joint be big as a cigar. Oh, yes, we done seen it all. Parents, please understand that your child is in class, and the parents should not stay in the picture and, uh, with, and make, the make silly face behind the child. Face. Just a parent. Why are you trying to teach in your class? That's what you need to tell these parents what to do. <laughs> everything. Oh my everything. god. Oh my god. I, I want her to my wow. wedding. She's everything. everything. I want to be best oh, friends with everything. this woman. And I have to, I'll she tell you is in a bit. Giving oh, we love Edith facts. and her message so much that we had to invite her <laughs> on to talk about it. Miss Edith, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, lady. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Miss Edith, welcome to the show. It is so great to meet you. Tell everybody how long you've been teaching, please. Well, I've been teaching. This is my 33rd year. I've taught kindergarten, music, oh. the prepared, and now I teach reading. Well, Miss Edith, why did you feel the need to address parents directly over their behavior? And it was hilarious. Well, we as parents are our children's first teachers, okay? And we are their primary example. And when you oh. see in that square the inappropriate behavior, somebody has got to say something. And what do teachers do? We teach. And so we didn't ask to come into your house. Somebody made us come into your house, and you knew we were coming. So you should have done the right thing when we came. And so when you did, can I just say something real quick? As a parent, as a parent, I've gone into my kid's room forgetting that he's in class and I have my pajamas and my hair's crazy. And he'll be like, Mom, so, you know, it's a new normal, so you gotta give us a little slack. <laughs> well, now that we can understand. But, but smoking a blunt? I didn't even know that that's blunt, what it was called. Crazy hair. I just a giant, uh, joint. It was the biggest joint I've, you know, maybe just was a huge joint. <laughs> I didn't know they had a name. <laughs> Well, Miss Edith, what has been the response to your message from people and parents? What have they been saying to you about this? The parents have been very supportive. People have been very, very supportive. Uh, just yeah. positive thing, pride. We're so glad you told the truth. Somebody finally has represented teachers. Uh, teachers have sent me just emails and text messages from everywhere, and they said finally somebody has said what needed to be said. Uh, now parents have been very supportive too. But now when I read something about a parent who thought I shouldn't be in their house or say other stuff like that, I just figured those were one of the parents that were doing the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, Miss Edith, I want to produce a talk show She's with you fire. and Mama Mai. Women like you guys are fuego, She's man. She's amazing. Okay. Yes. yes. Let me ask you now, Miss Edith, when it comes to students and their appearance, because this is very important to me, do you think that they should be presentable every day during virtual learning, even if they're at home in their bedrooms? Yes, I do. My mama has seven children. Okay, we got up at 5.30 in the morning every day of my life. We ate breakfast, we cleaned that kitchen, we took our baths, and we got dressed for school. And we were on time, because if we weren't, you know what would happen. So, but parents, not to make children understand that school is their first job. There's a, a character building program by Mr. Rick, and it says, there's a little song, this is my first job, it's here at school. Well, you know what? Parents need to make the children understand. You can't be on somebody's job, come in late, not dress with your hair combed to the bottom, you know, y'all know, come on, people. But the, the clothes not on, you in a gown, eating cereal, you'll be fired the first day if you ever got hired. So the reality is, it's <laughs> all about the children. And you have got to Miss do right Edith, by your feet. You are on fire. You gotta <laughs> let it have it. We appreciate all that you do. Being a teacher is such an important job. And you know, we here at The Real, we know how hard you work. So we wanted to give you $500 so you and your family can go and do something nice and go pamper yourself, girl. Well, thank you so much. And remember, pay teachers what we've earned because you can't pay us what we're worth. Shout out to teachers and parents everywhere. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you so much. You're